Good evening. Hello. Glad to see you again, Wendy, Anna Lilian, Carlos Escobar. I got power, but right now I, I am getting uh, some problem with my internet connection. Suddenly I lost the connection. I don't, I don't know in your case. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Electricity is go. And even the connection uh, is not good. Yes. But we are going to work. We are going to record the, 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 the conference. Esperemos que los demás también se puedan conectar. Y hagamos lo que se puede, porque nos dejó a mitad. Estaba justamente alistando. Por eso no me gusta dejar a últimas. Ya tenía la mayoría de cosas listas. Ready. Bueno, los que no puedan conectarse van a ver este video. Don't worry because there are some areas that uh, they are still without power. Hay areas donde todavía no hay energía. But in my case, I'm here.
Yesenia is sitting with us too. Welcome, Yesenia. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? How do you feel? I'm fine today. Oh, really? Really. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Saira. Okay, welcome. We are going to start. Um, and I hope that the rest can uh, watch the video if they don't got power now. But we are going to continue uh, in order to study the topic that we have for today. Hold on a second, please.
We'll do it in a second. My internet is not working in the proper way. Okay, Adriana, are you there? No. Ana Beatriz. I don't see it too. Let me see something here. Okay, Ana Beatriz, not here. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay. Escobar. Present. Eh, Selena. It's not here. Diana. Present teacher. Okay. Eric? Present. Francis Elizabeth? Jose Jonathan? Juan Carlos? Laura Carolina. María Concepción. María Elena. Mario Ernesto, are you there, Mario? Mayra? Zaira Marlene? There. Misael? Present teacher. 
Okay, sir. Uh, Wendy Maribel, what's the third one? Present. Hello. Jenny Suleyma. Now here. Presentation, Maria, was, was receiving my delivery. Okay, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Welcome, Jesse, Jesse. Okay, maybe, uh, well, I, I got the, the attendance now. I know uh, some of you are having problem. Teacher. Hola, tell me. Me había sacado eh, el internet, pero no contesté cuando usted pasó lista. Okay, let me check up. Thank you. Yes, even uh, in this area, I'm having a problem because when I want to see the, the attendance list, I had to wait some minutes in order to, to get the, the information. Teacher. But we are going good, to. Good to evening. Do. Hello, Laura. Laura, yo creo que ella me llamó, pero no estaba, teacher. Me yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Saira, Saira, let me check out Saira. Okay. We are only us nine, okay. I understand in some areas, um, they still out of power. Let me see my info. Okay, hold on a little bit.
Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Okay, we are going to start now talking about the review, making a review about the previous class. I would like to hear some comments re related with the previous class. What do you remember? Okay, tell me, what do you remember about the previous class? We were talking about the three PLs. Okay. What else? What else, sir? Hello. At the beginning, we talk about all companies. Okay. Maybe because the connection was a little difficult to, to understand your fair words. In fact, the, the, the service on the internet is not working properly. Okay, what else do you remember? Hello. Okay, let me get the 
the previous class slides in order that you can remember it. I remember, teacher, the 3PL uh, advance, advantage. Okay. The cost, your low reach, and I don't remember the, 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 the other, but it, it three factor. Okay, today we are going to continue talking about that. You are talking about these factors, like business value, reference and path performance, and technology, I guess. Okay, we were talking about uh, some aspects that we need to take in, uh, into account at the moment that we are going to select a CPL provider. And we mentioned some of the, of the aspects like business values, uh, reference and past performance. And also we talked about technology too. And today we are going to continue talking about Choosing a logistic panel shouldn't just be based on the cost. Remember the question that we have uh, in order to start the class, as there will always be a cheaper option somewhere uh, out of there. The trust factor is what one needs to be looking for in a reliable panel. I don't know if, if it is clear for you. Ms. Ayo, could you read again, please? Uh, it says, choosing a logistic partner shouldn't just be based on the cost, as will always be a cheaper option somewhere out there. The truth factor is what one needs to be looking for in a reliable partner. Okay. Somebody wants to give extra explanation related with this. Remember the second question that we had yesterday. We talked about uh, price, you know. What about the last uh, two or three lines that we have in this concept? The trust factor is what one needs to be looking for in a reliable panel. Escobar, what can you tell me about this? Yeah. Partner uh, cheaper is bad because the low price is mean the um, no, no is the better the the option the, the the better the option for the partner is the truth. Okay, Mario Ernesto, what can you tell us? Mm. Depends about what is the, the final uh, decision for the customer, for example. If I if I need send supplies to a, a, a store, 
I will try to uh, create a, a, a logistic base to, to make a distribution change in the, the, the effect using the local the local resource but if uh, I, I have to distribute direct to, to, to the to the client, I have to, to, to search the local for, uh, for example, I use a motor, a motor cycle, motor cycle delivery or bicycle delivery. If the store is in the area. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us let us see what we have in the next one. Okay, let us talk about the benefit of using SVPL. Okay, I need uh, somebody uh, read it, please. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, Diana. Uh, benefit of using a TPL. Businesses looking to use a TPL can expect many benefits from the partnership, including gain expertise. Businesses working with a TPL can gain valuable insight to potential issues when shipping, make connection in the industry, learn how to better streamline process and more. For e-commerce businesses with international business, working with a TPL also remove the stress of attempting to learn and comply with international shipping regulations. Okay. Somebody uh, tell us in his or her own words, What does he or she understand about this paragraph? And take a look at this uh, keyword working with the 3PL also removes the stress of attempting to learn and comply with international shipping regulation. What does that mean? That maybe in the process, uh, they learn how to deal with, uh, they get new um, abilities dealing with all of the uh, regulations. Okay. But don't forget to remove your stresses attempting to learn. This is one of the benefits that they have in order to use the CPL. How to do with shipping and also with connection, you know? And in other words, they don't have to worry about it because they what they are going to do is just that they'll, they are going to look for, for somebody else that, that that's what they need. Okay, the next one. Save time and money. Who wants to read it? It is right. Okay. Save time and money. 
Some of the most valuable benefits of working with a 3PL revolve around the efficiency and effectiveness of their knowledge to save your money. Outsourcing inventory management tax to a 3PL streamlines the work and allows you to focus on other aspects of your business. In addition, your 3PL partners can identify potential costly issues in the supply chain and proactively work to mitigate the risk. Okay. In the very beginning, we see that uh, uh, somebody that uses this uh, CPL is going to save time and money, right? But right here, we have some, some specific elements that are part of this uh, process too. Somebody want uh, to, to mention it? Can you repeat, please? Yeah, now at, at the top we have here, uh, this is another uh, advantage that we have that the company that uses EPL is going to save time and money, yeah? But right here also in the paragraph, we can find some elements that are part of this process. And I need that you highlight it and mention it. Maybe efficiency and effectiveness. Ah, okay, okay. That is really good. And also, what else? Somebody uh, read it, read it, please. Focus on other aspects of your business. Okay. And at the same time, what about the last uh, three words that we have in this paragraph? To mitigate the risk. Yeah, that does mean that if imagine that some, uh, something happened at the moment that they are uh, shipping uh, if the product, you are not going to, they, 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 uh, they give you an insure in order to, to save your product. And for that reason, it's really important to do it in this way. Okay, uh, what else? Let me see what else do we have here. Okay, what about this one? Who wants to read it? Scale operation. Partnering with a triple remained a vital step in scaling a business. With the 3PL's help, companies can expand their reach for order fulfillment, have a easier seasonal transition, save money on resource and level, and use reclaimed time to focus on business and product development. Okay remains a vital step. Okay, uh, what do you understand about this? Scale operation. Or maybe the, the, tell me the advantages that companies have uh, 
company have in order to, to, to use uh, scale operation? I guess it's very clear there in the in, in the paragraph. What you need to do is just to, to read it and try to get the main points here. Mm, in my case, uh, at the beginning, I think that it's like economia de scala but this is a different way. I think it's like in operation, you can be more uh, specific in your business and, and take a part with a, with a TPL's company because they can help us in the, in some, a season like in, in December that may be some uh, business like, uh, I don't know, a restaurant or something like that uh, are very popular. So they contract uh, so much people, but if they, or, uh, they make a contract with a DPL, they can provide some, some resources that can help. So in this season, I don't know. <laughs> okay, no, you are right, you are right. Yeah, but, but in this case, scale operation had to do with, with logistics. Yeah, and, and that is what you are talking about, that you are going to look for the better way in order to, to send maybe the, the, the your product to different places in order that people can get it. And that way you are going to have more incomes, more profit, you know, in some season. It has to do with that too. Okay. Okay, to the end, uh, thinking through the following list uh, when researching and taking the potential partner. One of the things that you need to take into account at the moment that you are going to decide to, to do something like that is the security. Not only should your CPL have all necessary safe training and compliance for its employees, it should also ensure protection of your data and resources. And how we can know uh, about that? How we are going to get the right information about the company? You are going to? To get some reference and maybe you are going to investigate, make some research in order to be sure about the company that you are going to choose. And of course, um, uh, you need to, to look for protection, not only uh, for your good, but also for your data, you know? Do you remember the, the three options that we mentioned related with data? No?
Okay. And now the best way that we have in order to protect our data, uh, what, what is the best way that you consider that, that we have now in order to, to protect our data? Teacher. Hola. Hello. Hello. Uh, the reason uh, maybe is for um, reputa reputable logistic service providers um, require uh, oh. mandatory pre employee uh, screening, including uh, criminal back backgrounds checks, drugs, testings, and confirmation of employee eligibility. Okay, and also you, you, you can look for the, the record of the, of the company. Yeah, there are different ways how we can do it. Mm -hmm, yes, and for a provider, uh, PPL is more easy because this is your, Juridia. Okay. And going back again to the question that I have, imagine that now we're computer, in your computer, you don't have enough uh, space in your, in your hard disk. Uh, what is the, the, the best option that you have in order to, to get more space? I use in a cloud service. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, most of the, uh, a lot of companies are doing something like that. They are keeping all uh, their files in that way. And for, that means that they, they need to uh, get a, a CPL that offer that service. In, in Costa Rica, uh, the last week, uh, uh, passed a cyber attack from the financial enterprise. So they contract a TPL to, I don't know, to, to don't be cyber attack. Okay. Uh -huh. So in El Salvador, the companies are already very uh, preoccupados, I don't know, for this. They are worried? They are worried for what is happening in Costa Rica. So many companies are searching for TPLs to provide a, a better service because um, we are very vulnerable, yeah. Imagine what happened uh, some minutes ago, the blackout in, in, in the whole country, maybe it could happen something like that. Yeah, this is because we buy uh, energy from Guatemala because in El Salvador it's not raining. So we can produce a lot of energy, so we should buy it. So if in Guatemala fails the, the energy or in Honduras, because we also buy it from here in El Salvador will be, but when we are in the raining season, we, don't, we will don't have this, this situation. Yeah, it could be one reason, but uh, well, according to the news, also in Guatemala, they 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 have something similar, like in El Salvador too. And some people are are, are saying that maybe it's a uh, is something that you mentioned that 
maybe could be a, a the civil attack maybe could happen but well you know after that something happened um a lot of people say different opinion and it is really important security in a company in order to keep the data in a in a safe way okay okay what about this one Wendy, do you want to read it? Wendy, Wendy. Sorry, teacher. Good customer service. Part of healthy business relationship is respect and good customer service. Three PL with eager to help create creative problem solving team members can save your money and provide an enjoyable, enjoyable working relationship. Relation. Relationship. Yeah, relationship. Relationship. Eager, eager to help. In order, in, in order to resolve problems, you know, yeah, um, eager and other other words, teacher, enjoyable. Uh, enjoyable working relationship. That enjoyable. means uh, that means that uh, you have Correct. Uh, enjoyable. Yeah, enjoyable working relationship. This means that you got a, a good environment in the place that where are you working. You feel happy. Like some of you said yesterday when we read the paragraph related with workplaces. You do you remember that? And also you mentioned that you feel comfortable in the place where you are working. Yeah, this ain't happen with 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 uh, good customer service. Okay. What about this one? The volunteer wants to read it. Me teacher. Okay, yeah, do it. Scalability. It's important to plan for the future and chose a triple oil that can help you expect, expect it grow. All other factor consider the triple you chosen to be able to to propel your business forward and keep, keep uh, with constant growth no struggle to get up to correct. Keep up, keep up, scalability. It is, it is an, uh, it's important to plan for the future and choose a CTL that can handle your expected growth. All of the factors consider the CTL, you should, should be able to propel your business forward and keep up with constant growth. No struggle to keep up. Struggle, you know what is the meaning of the word struggle, right? Struggle to keep up. Struggle to keep up. Yes. If you don't know the meaning, just put it in your vocabulary. But I guess in the context, you can understand what is related to. 
it is something like similar in your in, in your companies. You are able to see if, if um, the person in charge are letting you to to grow up, you know, or they uh, stay you in, in, in the same position. But in some places, uh, there are people that just spend uh, some months and suddenly they get a new position and had to do with, with, with knowledge too and also experience. Okay, make an screen shot. And, and see right here, you choose, you choose should be able to proper your business forward and keep up with cost, constant growth, you know? That means that it's going to get bigger, 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 you know? Okay, what about this one? <clears throat> This is the last one. So please, who wants to read it? Hello? The volunteer who wants to read it? No? Me too. Okay, okay, go ahead. Customization, depending on your industry, you may need varying le levels of customization for your business. Ensure you choose triple L partner now exactly what you expect when it comes to customization, whether, whether it's multi-channel capacity or consumer experience. It's important to find our what a triple nice Night is in the shipping and logistic market. Rob, Rob, say a lot of companies will claim they do everything, but every provider has a nature of course service that they focus on and perform very. No se le escucha, teacher. Goodness, my, not working. Hello, can you hear me now? Ahorita sí. Okay, depending on your industry, you may need a very the level of customization. For your business, ensure you choose in CPL, but know exactly what you expect when it comes to customization, whether it's multi-channel capacity or customer experience. Yeah, you need to be sure about this aspect. Because also they 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 need to know uh, exactly what you expect from them in order that uh, you get uh, a good results. 
And the last paragraph says it is important to find out what a CPL's niche is in the shipping and logistic market. That has to do with shipping, as I told you before. And this uh, Robert said, this is uh, somebody that wrote a book, said a lot of companies will claim they do everything, but every provider had a niche of core services that they focus on and perform best in. Okay. That is really, really, really important. According to my watch, I got nine o'clock. I need to check up. I'm sorry to interrupt. But let me check up my attendance again. Maybe we have a new student here. I mean that they connected after I check it. Okay, Adriana, are you there, Adriana? Adriana, no here now, okay. Ana Beatriz. Yes, yeah, it's there, it's there, yeah. Ana Lilian. Okay, Escobar is there too. Present. Selena. Present. Yeah, it's there. Present. Diana? Present teacher. Okay, Eric. Present. Francis Elizabeth? Not here. Jonathan Vigil? No. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. I don't see his name. Eh, Laura. Present teacher. Yeah, it's here. Laura is here. Um, Maria Concepción. Maria Concepción. That's it. Uh, Maria Elena. Present teacher. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Maria Elena, sir. Okay. Uh, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Mario is there. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ah, is there. Mayra is there too. Saira Marleni. Saira, I got it. Okay, but say hello, Saira. Misael. Present teacher. Jenny Suleyma. Jenny Suleyma. Hoy oh, se me olvidó mi nombre, qué barro. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Is... Ya ah. voy a aparecer ahí con faltas y por culpa, el teacher. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Present teacher. No, no. Okay, Jenny is not here. Yesenia Lisette Asensio. Present teacher. Okay, Yesenia. I don't know if I missed someone. No. Okay. We are at the middle of our session. Let me see, I got a message in the chat. Let me see if I can see it. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay. Let us continue with, let me see what else.
Okay, only uh, we, we miss uh, uh, two characteristics in order to finish. This topic. Teacher. Hello. Soy Zaira, tengo mucha inestabilidad con el internet. Zaira, Zaira, Zaira. Yeah, Marleni. Zaira Marleni. Okay. I got it, I got it. Okay, what about this one? Want to read it? Me teacher. Okay. Comparable technology along with scalability and customization ensure the TPL as enterprise level technology to keep up with your business demands need and change. It's also important that the TPL has a uh, knowledge. Okay. It seems to help troubles her shot any uses. Okay, comparable technology along uh, with scalability and customization ensure the CPL has enterprise level technology to keep up with your business demand, needs and changes. It's also important that the CPO has a knowledgeable IT team to help troubleshoot any issue. What is the meaning of the word IT team? Misael is an expert in this. Misael. Idea, Michelle? Uh, no, teacher, at the moment, no. I... The IT team to help troubleshoot any issue, you know, how to do with technology. Um, it has to do with the people in charge of programming. Yeah, it, it, it had to do with that, but... Um, or, or maybe with, with uh, when there's an issue or a problem, they they go there. Okay. These people are the information technology. The information technology, you are one of the... Tecnologías de la información, my friend. Okay, get put it in your pockets. This is a team in charge of, of keeping all the information and data related with the company, you know. And they need to be eager in order to resolve any problem that can happen. Okay. And the last, I guess we have, okay. Positive reputation, the rise EPL pattern not only meets all of your current and future business need, but also has a positive reputation in the industry. TPL pattern can connect you with the largest network of vendor like marketing agencies, Packing, vendor, and more. And how you are going to do in order to know all those aspects I mentioned at the beginning? Tell me. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I need that you remember and mention all the aspects that we are going to take into account at the moment that we are going to choose one CPL company. Okay, tell me.
make a summary. We start talking about security. Do you remember that? Hello. And then? What else? We talk about a uh, good customer service. What else? Hello. We talk about scalability too. Customization, compatible technology, and positive reputation. I guess, uh, well, later on, I'm going to share this info because you don't have it in your material and you can, you can keep it in order that you can read it. Maybe you are going to need it for the next uh, module and you are going to have that info. Okay. Okay, right now we are going to make a little switch um, because we are going to talk about something else related with the material that we have. Let me see. Uh, based on page number 22, the previous to talk about uh, that exercise that we have in the book, we are going to to talk about something. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we are going to remember uh, because we already talked about this but I need your participation in order that you can get familiar with these terms. Okay, let's talk about express uncertainty. Uh, and I need somebody, Laura, uh, do, you want, do you want to read? Okay. Expressive sentai, sentai, certai when you are sure that something will or will not happen in the future. Use this expression. For example, to the question, will John pass the, ex the exam? You may respond as, as follow, follow. Yes, okay. I am. Okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, let, let me add something here because I need to add something here in the middle. Or we, we have different ways. Imagine that somebody said, uh, ask this question, will John pass the exam? Yeah, you can have the different responses, right? Different answers. You can also you can say yes, I'm absolutely sure he will. Or maybe somebody can say yes, I'm quite sure he will. Yes, I'm certain he will. Yes, I'm positive he will. In different way, we we also we can use this one. Yeah. And I need that you keep in mind, but imagine if you are I'm going to say no, you are going to say, no, I'm absolutely sure you won't, yeah? Or, uh, no, I'm quite sure. 
and you can mix all, all this information uh, that I have here. It is just in order that you can remember it. And um, I consider that you are able to use it. But the main point for us today is this. Okay, let me move a little bit. Okay, this one, but I'm going to erase. I need to raise the word or Okay, Maria Concepcion, could you read it, please? Maria, Maria? <laughs> Ahorita, teacher, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Expressing uncertainty. When you are not sure uh, whether something or some someone will or will not happen, use the following expression. expression. Okay. Only ask when you are not sure whether something or someone will or will not happen. Okay, let me move a little bit. Okay, for example, to the question, will John, uh, will John follow a career in business? Okay, let me see somebody else. I need that all of you participate with it. Um, let me see if I can get somebody. Yesenia? Are you there, Jason? Yes, teacher. Okay, will you continue reading? Um, for example, to the question, will John follow a career in business? You may respond as a follow. Ay, pero eso no lo entiendo, teacher. Okay, okay, don't worry. Yeah, what you need to do is just to say, well, it is possible. Yeah, could be it is possible, I suppose, but I wouldn't like to say for certain. Yeah, you can use it in that way. I'm not sure. Yeah. It is impossible, it might be. Uh, well, it might be might not be it could be it could happen i got here a, a lot of different words that you can use in order to answer this question well you never know for no one can know for certain well i can tell you for sure well we we, we can use a different you know, and also, uh, but I am not sure, but I doubt it, but I have my own doubts, uh, but uh, it's uh, doubtful. It is possible, but uh, it's a highlight, very unlikely, you know, you can use that way too. What you need to do is just to combine some words in order to show that uh, you don't know exactly what somebody else is talking about. I don't know if you got my idea, but let me clarify it. Uh, well, right here, I got some expressions, some words that we can use, but before that, let me show you something else because let me try to get it right here. Hold on a second, please.
Okay, let me share it. Maybe this way is going to be easier for you in order to understand it. Okay, let us uh, focus our attention in this expression that we have here. I'm not sure about it. I doubt it. Uh, I'm not really sure about it. And you can continue. I don't know for sure. It's very unlikely. I have my own doubts. I don't think so. I don't believe this is true. There is some doubt in my mind that, and you can continue using it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know yet. Okay, I got, let me, how, how many do I have? I got 11, right? Okay, I'm going to give you one expression for every one of you. Let, let me try to check out the attendance and I'm going to, okay, Ana Beatriz, say present. In order to be sure that you are there. Ana? Presentation. Okay, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I know it's difficult for you to speak. But it's up to you if you want, I can assign you a freight, but if not, just uh, listen. I guess it's gonna be better if you just listen. Anna Lillian, the first one is for you. I'm not sure about it. You are going to create uh, a sentence using that expression. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, Escobar, the, 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 the next one is your. I doubt it. Are you there, Escobar? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Try to do it. Uh, Selena, I'm not really sure about. Uh, Diana, I don't know for sure. Eric, it's very unlikely, you know. Okay, let me see yes. somebody else. Laura Carolina. Uh, I have my own doubts. Laura? Yes, teacher. I have, I have my own doubts. <laughs> that is sure, this one. Okay, next one is Maria Elena. I don't think so, Maria Elena. How are you are going to do to use it? Okay, you need to create something. Uh, Mario Ernesto, uh, I don't believe this is true. Try to put it. Okay. Okay, uh, let me see. Mayra Veralice, there's some doubts in my mind that. Okay, Mayra? okay, okay. Saira, I don't know if you uh, still have a problem with your connection, but if you are there, just let me know, Saira. Okay, teacher. I'm not a hundred percent sure. That is sure. And uh, Misael. Present. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Jed. I don't know, Jed. Okay. Wendy. When, Wendy? Present. I'm not sure about it. That is sure. I don't understand. Wendy, we are going to use the fair expression in order to create a sentence in which you are going to use this expression. Is that possible for you? No. Not possible? No. Teacher. Hello. Which one told me? I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name? Saira? Saira, sí. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if Misael got a 100% 
that means that the one that you need to use is there some doubt in my mind, I guess. Is that true, Michelle? You got the, uh, okay, okay. I have, I don't know yet. I don't know yet, that, that is, ah, okay, okay. Okay, your side is, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure, okay. Yes, and Thank Wendy, you. I'm not sure about it, pero dice que tiene dudas. Okay, we are going to clarify it, but let me do it. The Oh, Jenny. the sentence I I not Are... use use in I make uh other sentence. Yeah, you need to create your own and uh in the one that you are going to use it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yesenia, Yesenia Lisset. She teacher I'm here. Okay, the next one, I doubt it. I doubt it, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you, uh, I guess some of you already have it because it's quite easy, but maybe some of you are, are yeah, thinking how you are going to create it. At the moment that your classmate says uh, that the sentence, yes, pay attention in order that you can get in the right way, okay? Teacher, puede repetir el mío. It's quite difficult to, to, to tell you because I, I was saying in the order that I have it here, Okay, if, if you have it, um, well, you can share it in the chat in order that the, your classmate can see it, but, but I need also that you say it. Of course, some of them maybe uh, are going to be used like in a conversation that somebody else is speaking with you. If you are ready, yes, tell me and we can start now. But before, what you need to do is just uh, chat it in the chat. <laughs> Why don't you try to stop it or help the other guy? The one yes. Microphone, microphone. Ana Lilian. You have clear which one is uh, your or not? No, teacher, es que cuando dijo que me tocaba solo escuché que dijo Ana Lilian y no lo voy a escuchar más. No supe qué. My, my, my. Okay, let me see. Ana Beatriz, I said no because she's kind of sick. Escobar. Escobar. Will you tell us which one is your? Is the phone? Yes, teacher. Which one is the is is is, is your the, the phone? No, the second. I double it. Ah, the second one is your. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Entonces, Ana Lilian, this one is your the phone. I'm not sure about it. Es como crear una oración con usando él. Yes. Okay. No sé si está bien, pero que estaría mejor si dejas de llamarla y ponerle mensajes. Okay, let us do it now, please. If you have it, just share it in the chat. And then you are going to say it.
Well, let's do now, please. Let me see if I got something. Okay. But uh, at the moment, right, as soon as you write it down and post it in the chat, I need that you say it. Let us start with Diana. Okay. Uh, I can tell I can tell you what's coming next because I don't know for sure. Okay. Okay, thank you. Laura. Laura. Sorry. I have my old dolls anxiety anxieties and yearning reflect in those around me o también otra oración que estaba haciendo I had my own dog about what it grows <laughs> ay no teacher no me sale ahí le escribí teacher yeah, you talk about anxieties okay. pero aquí le escribo otra <laughs> I had my own doubts about what I grow ah ok ok thank you Eric let me see. Uh, it is very unlikely that after this month will be sunny. Okay. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, let me see. Uh, I don't, I don't see think. It. I don't see in the shop. I, I need to see it. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, you need to write it down there. Okay, uh, Escobar. I, I made the conversation A and B. Okay. A, do you know? Uh, do you know? Oh, instead of best now. Do you know Kuka, Kuka, Tomahawk? I told it, but I try. We better cook another food. Okay. You better cook another food. Wow. Maria, Elena. Continue, Lore. Um, I'm here. I don't think so. That many people drive without a license. License. Mm. Life. Yeah, um, I guess it's better if you put it at the end and you need maybe to switch a little bit. Because when, yeah. you, when you say, I don't think so, you are referring to something previous. If somebody is telling you that, for example, the blackout happened because aliens uh, came to the different uh, places, you know, that, uh, that uh, the company have, and maybe you are going to tell me, I don't think so. Yeah, it's going to be better in that way that you switch a little bit. Uh, I understand. Okay. Okay. okay, not necessary. You need to put it at the beginning because it doesn't make sense. Okay, Santos Misael. It says uh, the shipment arrived with a request. I don't know yet what it's about. Okay, you don't have any idea. Wendy. Okay, teacher. I'm not sure about this item. This item? Item. Okay, Mario Ernesto. I don't believe this is true. It, it looks fake. Ah, okay. We need to watch it too in order to be true. Saira. Teacher? Ah, yeah. 
Sí se me escucha. Ok, tell us. Between yesterday class and today class, I'm not 100% sure I will learn. Ok. Between yesterday class and today class, and we we may maybe you can avoid using class twice, you know. Tal vez podría evitarse usar la palabra class dos veces. Y al final, eh, I'm not 100% uh, sure. As uh, between yesterday class and today. Between yesterday and yesterday and today class. Ah, okay. I'm not 100% sure if, ahí va a poner un condicionante, if I learn. Hmm. Okay. Ahí está condicionando. Okay. Somebody up? ¿Qué más? Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I need to stop here because we need to go to the next activity. Okay. Let me see what it is. It is right here. Okay. I'm sorry to make uh, this switch, but it's necessary because cost of the time. I invite you to go to the page number 22, I guess is the right one. Okay. We got some, some information here. I'm going to share it with you. You have it there and we are going to read it. Okay, how to use expression of uncertainty. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Expression of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that sometimes something, I'm sorry, that something may or may not be true. Or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. And be careful about this. Take a look. Use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a close. For example, I wouldn't like to say this for a certain comma. But the current financial situation may lead to layoff. Did we get any report on when to expect the product? Not to my knowledge, comma. I think they are delayed. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a CPL for at least some domestic function. Okay, and what about here at the, at the right side? I doubt it. And it's very unlikely, do not need to be followed, uh, followed by a comma, these two words or expression. But this one at the, at the left side, you need to put a comma. For example, I doubt it is a good idea to hire a CPL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipments. You don't need that comma. Or uh, take a look at the last example. It's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Okay, let us see if you got the message. Okay, we got some uh, exercise right here. In number five, circle the correct depression. You have one, uh, one, two, five, and you are going to read it and you are going to look for the best choice. Try to uh, put in practice what, you, what we read in the previous paragraph.
Okay, I guess you have it in your material. If you don't have it, just make a screenshot. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. But before to stop sharing, I would like to know if you have any questions so far related with the expression that I have here. Did you finish?
Now, so now she'll finish learning after this. Okay, let's see. Okay, let us resolve. We got it here. Who wants to read the number one? Just yes, tell me if you need more time. I try, teacher. Hi. Okay, okay, go ahead. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but we may may need to change our distribution okay i couldn't i couldn't like to say this for certain but we may need to change our distribution for okay let me underline the expression Okay, what about the second one? Who wants to read it? Number two. I suppose. Did the manager finish evaluating the three PLs available? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Did the manager finish evaluating the CPL available? Not to my knowledge. Okay, number three. Somebody else, please. Number three. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logic service. Oh, okay.
number four. Number four. To the best of my knowledge and not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge. Continue, continue, continue. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Okay. And the last one. As far as I know, for a small company to require logic global service. Could you repeat again? As far as I know, for a small company to local your global service. Okay. Uh, somebody else has in a different way? Uh, me, teacher. Bye. Bye. Is very unlikely for a small company to require a logistic global service. Yeah. Ah, okay. But let me ask somebody else. I got two different points here. What about, let me see. What about you, Mayra? For me, teacher, uh, the same opinion, Laura, is very unlikely. No, no sé. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the right one. It's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. Okay. You got it there. You can make a screenshot if you want. Maybe later on you are going to need it. In the platform, maybe they are going to ask you some question related with this exercise. Okay, we are so close to finish. Let me check out again the attendance. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. Hey, Adriana, it's not here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Say hello, okay, Ana Lillian. Present. Present, teacher. Okay, okay. Escobar. Present. Uh, Selena. Hi, teacher. Okay. Diana. Present. Eric. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Francis is now here. Jose Jonathan. I got a message from Jonathan. Okay. Um, Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. 
Present teacher. Okay, Maria Concepcion, according to my list, you are number 12. Uh, and correspond to you to stay at the end of the class. Is that possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. We are going to talk about some doubt that maybe you have related with the class. Okay, um, Maria Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario. Present. Okay, Mayra. Present teacher. Okay, Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, um, Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaima. Jenny Sulaima. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, I got all the information. And before you go, uh, I would like to remember you that you need to resolve the exercise that you have in the platform. And um, I already sent uh, the problem that some, some somebody uh, sent me. I'm, I'm just waiting for the result. So please try to do it because uh, that way is going to be better for you because um, Saturday morning, I'm going to update the, the gray chart. So please try to do it. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to, he to see you tomorrow. Take yes. care and bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow, blessing. Okay, thank you. Maria. Las dos Marías. <laughs> ya me salí de uno, voy a hacerme del otro. <laughs> Entonces eran las tres Marías. <laughs> sí, ya dos dispositivos de charla, siento. Hasta mañana. Ok, bye bye, see you. Hola, Nia Maria. How are you? How do you feel today? I am tired. Difficult my day. Difficult, your name. Okay, at the yes. beginning you got some, some kind of struggle to connect, right? Teacher, hoy no entendió absolutamente nada. No sé si escucha mucho el sonido de la tele o escucha bien. No, le estoy oyendo como entrecortado. Espérame. Me voy a quitar eso, creo que es. Veamos. Creo que era el, el, el audífono. Ahí está, mire, me estaba haciendo trampa. Ahora sí. Sí, me estaba haciendo trampa. Ahora sí, teacher. Sí, sí, se le oye claro, fuerte y claro. Ok. Pues sí, teacher. Uh, I don't understand um, anything. Uh, I feel lost right now. <laughs> really? But, but what is the main problem that you think that maybe causes the vocabulary? Uh, or um, what is the main point? What do you think? My problem is um, I don't know. I understand in English uh, what, what, when you explain. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, at the moment that I'm explaining something, maybe uh, you don't understand exactly in 100% all my words. Es posible que quizá cuando yo esté explicando no entiende el 100%, pero debe de haber un porcentaje que sí me comprende. 
Eh, sí, o sea, o sea, si usted se ha dado cuenta, últimamente he estado como un poco opinando un poco más, he estado desarrollando los ejercicios más fácil, pero eh, es un poco difícil para mí eh, lograrle entender exactamente todo lo que está pidiendo. Ok. Y no sé, una técnica para poder así agilizar mi oído, no sé, porque escucho música todos los días, trato la manera de jugar Duolingo. Eh, en mis horas libres, de, de, en mi hora de almuerzo, estoy practicando un poco más lo que es el Duolingo, estoy aprendiendo palabras de ahí también. Okay, okay. Para poder entenderle un poco más a usted, porque sí me está costando mucho. Bueno, usted sabe que el, el módulo pasado yo le dije que ya no, ya no daba para más. Sí, pero ya la vi que valiente y guerrera, porque aquí está. Y la felicito por eso. Gracias, Ticho. Porque uno no debe de... de, de eh, don't give up easily. No se debe dar por vencido fácilmente. El problema es que se me han juntado las clases porque estoy estudiando también Excel y... Ah, Los sábados es de una a seis de la tarde. Entonces... Ahí está, ahí está. Y en Excel tiene un montón de ejercicios que hacer. Sí, entonces para mí se me, se me está haciendo un poco así como... Tiene que Pero ahí me estoy dando, auto animando ahí. Tú no, puedes. Es que así <ríe> Dormite, es. Pero... Así es, sí, si nadie es, eh, le dice, pues uno mismo tiene que decirse, ok, tú puedes hacerlo. Yeah. No vamos a esperar en los demás lo que nosotros queremos lograr. Ahora, si usted tiene sus propios objetivos de por qué está estudiando eh, Excel, por ejemplo, de mejorar el manejo de, de esa herramienta y nada con lo que estamos haciendo, hay una meta y un objetivo. Así. Eso es sumamente importante. Y si, si usted tomó la decisión de, de, de llevar esas dos cosas, porque sí puede. O sea, tiene que dar el 200%. Ahora, la recomendación mía es lo que les he venido diciendo. Uh -huh. Yo sé que el tiempo es muy vital en esto. Pero como ya tienen el material... Previamente pueden hacer un vocabulario. Yo sé que hay mucho, muchas palabras o términos que son técnicos relacionados a logística o a marketing, a comercio internacional o comercio electrónico. Entonces, por eso he venido diciendo que creen su propio vocabulario, banco de datos, porque precisamente son esos términos los que son que son los que aparecen en el material. Y la otra cosa es que algunos conceptos se han quedado así como medio cortos en el material porque no se puede tener un material bastante o voluminoso. Y por eso es que yo les comparto alguna información extra relacionada con los temas para que se pueda entender mejor. Ejemplo, el CPL. En el material habla bastante poco, pero ya vio cuánto eh, hemos hablado de ello. Al final, usted ya comprendió el significado de CPL. Dígame en español. <risa> es que, teacher, o sea, así como ah, lo de la logística, estoy perdida yo ahí. <risa> no, le creo, porque eso hasta lo explica en español. Yo sé, yo sé, pero... Es como un poco, es que yo siento que la clase va enfocada como en mercadeo y así como. <ríe> sí, tiene mucho que ver en, en, en el. Es que yo así siento que a quien le beneficia bastante es a los que están estudiando en esa parte, pues. Porque está, yo, yo la siento así bien enfocada en esa parte. Sí, pero si usted ve, si usted observa el material, es precisamente, o sea, yo voy siguiendo justamente el material de me ver le digo que como dice la unidad ahí también veo acá y sí, por ejemplo y en la unidad uno habla de la distribution channel los canales de distribución en la 2 que es la que estamos habla de logística mire cómo van variando los temas 
Se, eh, después de eso viene, que será hasta la otra semana, todavía estamos. Eh, ¿Qué tenemos? Ah, la unidad 3 habla de warehouse. Ahí vamos a hablar solo referente a warehouse. Luego la que sigue. El material está bastante bonito, completo para aprender muchas cosas. Luego viene eh, eh, en la unidad 4 habla de inventory, del inventario. O sea, así, así va. Es que si estuviera en CD, le, le apuesto que la, le entendiera rapidito a todo, pero no sé. Si, si estuviera, ¿cómo es? Es que en la parte donde está logística se le llama CD. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, ahí yo solamente he estado facturando, no he estado haciendo más nada. Sí. No, recibiendo pero... embarques, eh, recibiendo eh, productos, pero nada más. Sí, pero hoy, hoy va a salir eh, capacitada con más conocimiento y términos nuevos. Bueno, eh, yo voy a hablar inglés ahí con los que vienen de otro lugar. Sí, y tú vas a estar able to speak with them. Ah, you was. Uh... CPL of my company. ¿Qué le parece? Ah, ustedes son el CPL de mi compañía. <risa> ah. Tienes que creerlo porque de repente va a suceder. Cuando menos acuerde va a estar hablando con alguien. Cuando uno ya tiene sí. idea y, y conocimiento de algunos temas, cuando menos acuerda, comienza a hablar. Y después dice... Wow, nunca pensé que iba a ser capaz de mantener una conversación de negocio, por ejemplo, a tan alto nivel. Eh, lo que estoy como tratando de hacer es como durante eh, el día andar escuchando las clases. Ok, bueno. Pero eso sí que por rato ya dejo de escucharlas porque es como... Ah, Tiendo como a confundirme un poco más. Ah, okay. <ríe> Quizás del mismo nivel de estrés que estoy manejando ahí en el, en el trabajo, eh, me hace que me confunda un poco. Entonces lo pauso y vuelvo nuevamente, pero estoy empezando desde las primeras. Okay. Y creo que ahorita debería de empezar a escuchar, por ejemplo, la de esta semana para poderle entender un poco más a usted. Ok. Así Una. que eso voy a hacer. Una y otra vez, una y otra vez, hasta que comprenda y dice, ah, esa palabra es esta que está aquí en el manual. Dura dos horas, teacher, la clase. Yo, yo entiendo, pero lo que puede tal vez hacer, adelantar a, a un punto que, que tal vez sea el que más le cuesta. Así, uh -huh. buscarlo, ir adelantando y des, llegar al punto y ah, aquí, en el minuto tal, ahí me quedo. Ok, este, por ejemplo, yo lo que hago es tomarle screenshot a todo lo que usted okay, okay. Uh, da, porque yo creo que usted solo da parte, ¿verdad? Eso es ¿verdad? muy suyo. Sí. Eso es, es suyo, o sea, es parte de lo que usted nos enseña, mano. Es parte de lo que usted nos, nos da, nos proporciona parte del material. Sí, pero siempre tiene, es relacionado para darles una idea más amplia. Lo de los, lo de la, por ejemplo, lo de lo, lo de, nos dio unas cosas de la Coca-Cola, los ejemplos que nos dio. Ah, ok, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, todo eso yo les tomo screens y lo voy guardando en una, en una carpeta aparte. Estos son los canales de distribución. Uh -huh. Todo eso lo voy guardando aparte para poder estudiarlo cuando puedo. Y... Ok. Y eso le ayuda porque de repente tiene un ejercicio que hacer en la plataforma relacionado. Entonces dice, ah, aquí lo aplicamos de este, de este modo. Y ahí en, la, en el ejemplo que tenemos de la, de la Coca-Cola, hablamos de las 7 R. ¿Se recuerda? Which are los 7 R's. Right, brother, the uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. 
Sí, por eso le digo, o sea, esa parte, eso sí me ayuda un poco a mí porque tal vez no, no hablo fluido ni entiendo bien, pero me sirve para recordar un poquito. Lo que pasa es que a veces me cohibo de, de, de opinar por el miedo a equivocar. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. Teacher, ah compréndame, teacher, ya los adultos ah, ya no, no, no aprendemos sí, mucho. Muy raro. Yo entiendo, pero yo ya les dije montones de veces, se aprende con el error, en inglés hay algo que se llama tries and error, tries and error, ¿sí? Prueba, error, prueba, error. ¿Por qué les invito a que vayan leyendo? Precisamente para detectar qué palabras son las que no pueden eh, pronunciar. Si se ha fijado que tan pronto termino, yo las digo, no les digo específicamente, sino que yo lo leo. O yo las pronuncio para que eh, ustedes asuman la manera correcta de cómo se dice. Nunca les he dicho, no, mire, eso no es así, hágalo. De... No, 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 trato de la manera más cortés para que se comprenda, ¿no? No, pero lo que hizo esa semana conmigo me gustó porque repetí como en cuatro veces la misma palabra y fue así como, ah, ¡Ah, sí. Dale. sí, pero eso, eso es muy bueno. Ahora, no todos a veces aceptamos así eh, la, el tipo de ayuda porque eso es una ayuda. Sí, yo sé. Ahora, y de lo, verdad que... Lo que le recomiendo Ajá. es lo siguiente. Que tenga eh, un cuadernito. Tenga un cuadernito ahí. Y usted anota el sonido como usted lo oye. Ya de esa forma le va a acercar bastante a la pronunciación. Eso es vale, muy... porque sí, sí, tengo un cuadernito aquí que lo tengo todo así saturado de, pero es parte de los ejercicios que nos deja. Entonces ah, okay. yo los, los recibo para poder okay, tenerlos pero no, ahí. Pero no hace usted como un vocabulario de la clase, por ejemplo, de hoy. ¿Cuántas palabras encontró más difíciles? Tal vez no sabía el significado. Yo hoy me conecté a las 9 y 12. Perdí casi una hora prácticamente. Más pero, de una hora. Pues. Pero fue por el problema de la energía, quizás. Ajá. Ok, pero ahí está el video. You can watch it and get the information. And uh, you can, if you have questions, you can write them down. And later on, you can send me the question. I'm going to give you an answer. Ahí le envío yo la respuesta, no hay problema. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Ok, okay. estoy para ayudarle. Gracias, teacher. Ok, take care. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Okay. Good night. Bye.